Are we gazelle intense? Hmm. Well. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband Mauricio and I are on the Dave Ramsey plan to pay off $250,000 as quickly as we can. Yup, you heard that right. $250,000. So if walking through that journey with us is something that interests you, consider clicking that big red subscribe button down below. Normally this is the time of the month where I would talk about our mid-month budget update, but I gotta be honest, it's after Christmas. We are pretty tight on the budget and we're following along just as we should be. There hasn't been much change. So I wanna talk about something else that comes up frequently on my channel, gazelle intensity. And if you don't know what gazelle intensity is, I'm gonna point you up to the eye in the sky and that will connect you with a video that Dave Ramsey has put out explaining gazelle intensity because honestly, nobody can explain it better than he can. So in order to address gazelle intensity, I must first address the elephant in the room. Yes, we earn well into the six figure category. There, we've said it, we have good salaries, and collectively, Mauricio and I earn a really good income. And I get a lot of criticism, shockingly, about that, but I am a firm believer in two things. One, if you look at our debt to income ratio, we're pretty on par with the rest of the people going through this plan, and especially the Dave Ramsey YouTubers. And two, high income earners really need to pay off debt too. That is a video topic that should be best left for itself. So when you look at our budget, the concept of questioning our gazelle intensity comes into play in three major categories. One, the category that shall not be named. Wait, wasn't that from like the, the village, that movie, you know, those we do not speak of? Lucius? Lucius? Two, our online spending. And three, several areas in our cash category, including our blow money and our family fun money. So, do I think we're gazelle intense? In short, Yes, but not in the traditional, we will give up every single thing to get out of debt as quickly as possible sort of way. So yes, but no, but yes. See, we've already given up a lot. We're living in my parents' house so we can get out of debt faster. And in my mind, that is massive gazelle intensity because not many people would go to that kind of extreme to get out of debt. So to counter the massive sacrifice that we are making to get out of debt, we do put a little more spending in the budget. It's more or less $500 a month of frivolity that, that honestly gives us a little bit of sanity and kinda helps us keep focused and on plan. Uh, wait, did she just say that $500 a month of frivolity actually helps her keep on plan? Yep. The reason I say that is because we kind of view this like a diet. The more strict the diet, the less likely you are to stick to it. While significant changes need to be made, not everything has to be changed at one time. And the thing that you may or may not know, cause I've mentioned it a couple of times, but it's not been a major focus, We've done the rice and beans diet where we cut out absolutely everything and um, we failed a lot and hard. And we learned from that and we won't be making that mistake again. We're in it for the long haul, y'all. We're going to baby step seven, period. 
So mathematically, right now, let's say we're putting $6,000 on average a month to debt. Some months it's seven, some months it's in the mid fives, but let's just use $6,000 a month for mathematical purposes. And we are taking $500 and frivolously spending it wherever we want. That $500 equates to one additional month on the Dave Ramsey plan a year. We will be debt free in two years paying $6,000 a month on the plan. Yeah, I can keep that additional two months in there to make it for the long haul. Absolutely. But having said that, we're planning on moving at the end of the summer. So um, yeah, that $6,000 is going to change. And so what I expect will happen, this is what I am mentally planning for, that once we move out on our own, our gazelle of intensity of living with my parents will have shifted. We won't be living with my parents, so we will need to become gazelle intense in a different way. So I expect that all of those frivolous things that we spend money on and they will start disappearing out of the budget. You will see us make changes in what we eat. You will see us not spend $150 or $200 on online expenses anymore. You will see me going back to buying drugstore makeup because that will be our new type of gazelle intensity. So, but we'll see when we get there because this is real life after all. So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one and this one right here is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.